Hey everyone, Kubo here and welcome back to my Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster playthrough. In this episode, we are going to make our way to Nash, go through the Nash Caves, kill some more dragons, pick up some more Magicite and pick up a new character as well. The final uh, character actually. That's right. After today, we will have all the characters that we need and we will move on with our lives. There's also a couple of iconic Final Fantasy enemies that we will run into today. Uh, we don't want to stop at the Ancient Castle on this occasion. We are good with where we are at. And the castle reappears. We have a couple of minor things we'd like to change. Uh, we're going to change everyone's uh, relic. So, not relic, sorry, Esper. So Terra's going to pick up Fenrir for the uh, Banish and Stop. We're also going to give Celez a new one as well. Where is Phoenix? There it is, Razor Eyes, Re-Raise, Kiraga and Faraga. That, that Re-Raise is going to be key. Trust me. Uh, next up, I want to give the Deadlock uh, Phantom. Take it off Edgar, give it to Locke. And I want to give Mog Raiden. Not really for the quick, more for the strength plus two level ups. That would be great. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do very quickly is I am going to heal up. by reviving lock and then tenting up items revive and then use a tent we only have one tent left at some point i will need to buy more mental note for myself there really okay but that's the all the prep we want to do time to get in the airship and make our way to nash we here it is, smack bang in the middle of the northern continent in case you've forgotten. Now, Locke must be in our party to do the following. First thing we want to do is say hello to the Lone Wolf. Who used to be a prisoner in uh, Figaro Castle in the World of Balance. So, there are two things we want to pick up in the town itself. The first thing we want to do is head to this weapon store where Locke can unlock the door. We're going to go all the way around here like so. And this guy's been waiting for us. We can either choose with this Magicite to keep the Ragnarok Magicite or turn it into the sword Ragnarok. For the purposes of this playthrough, we are going to leave it as the Magicite simply because um, it's for an achievement. And yeah, this guy's going to stay here, but you'll notice that a lot of people have fled the town. Remember, if you don't have Mululu's Charm currently equipped, you will get into random encounters. Uh, so bear that in mind. Now, something else I want to do is head up all the way here, go around. If you remember, back in the World of Balance, there was one chest that was locked in this Eastern Bonanza house. We now need to unlock it to get the empty chest. However, we now have all 10 chests and all three items in Nash. So uh, a win's a win. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to head all the way north and go into the northern part of the Nash mines. This will be a very familiar area to a lot of you. If you simply started the game, this is where Terra, uh, Biggs and Wedge got involved. So we're, instead of taking the northern exit, going to take the western exit. We're going to go follow the linear path. We're going to head up here. And then come round. Don't try to go over the bridge, just come over here instead. Very confusing, I know. Try not to uh, get too distracted. And we'll be back to where we protected the Esper from Kefka in the World of Balance. And there will be a dragon floating around. Of course there is. Let's get into a boss fight. Ice Dragon, 24,400 HP. Uh, weak to fire, shockingly. 
So I want to open with uh, Celeste's Fire, and then I also want Terra to transform, and she also wants to use Fire. Yeah, Ice Dragon has some rather nasty o AoE attacks, such as Absolute Zero. If Lock dies, Lock dies. It's honestly not the end of the world. Uh, this guy's fast as well. Physical attacks, Avalanche, here's another AoE Ice Attack. Does, it, does not mess around. Yep, yeah, and uh, Lock falls over as predicted. But there we go. As long as you can get three or two Firers and one Empowered Firer from Terra. This is a easy boss fight. It's just about doing more damage than um, the Ice Dragon can do to you. And yeah, Celeste learned Raze and Mog learned Snowman Rondo. Good stuff. And we get the Force Shield as well. Two Dragons left. Uh, let's revive Mr. Cole. We'll also get Terra to heal everyone up. Even though Celeste's cures are probably more powerful, um, we do elect to heal with Terra because Celeste's MP is far more important. Okay, now we're going to get into another boss fight. This is Valigamanda, 30,000 HP, weak to fire, also has a very nasty tendency to cast Rasp all the time. Uh, simply, all we're going to do here is we are simply going to cast some Fires until Vadigamada, Vadigam, Valigamanda falls over. It's all we're doing. It will take three Fires and one um, physical attack. Hopefully, we get it first try. Very high evade, as you can see. Come on. Someone has to hit him. Or her. There we go. Valigarmanda has stupidly high defense. But even so, um, you like by the time you've done your fires, it will only have 3 HP left. There we go. Another 7 magic AP. And uh, yeah, Valigarmanda has been frozen all this time, thinks that the war's still going on. Yeah, see? Literally been frozen for a thousand years. So, it's been frozen throughout the entirety of the time of peace. So, wake, falling asleep during the first war with Magi, Magi, sorry, um, waking up during the second one. And, uh, finally Garmander will see that we're trying to put an end to it. Boom! And Valley Garmander, as, a, as an Esper, uh, tried disaster hits all enemies with fire, ice, and lightning. Um, similar to Kajata in Final Fantasy VII. Also will help you teach, uh, will help teach Viraga, Blizzarga, and Thundarga. Quite useful. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to actually hop into it. Yeah, you have to actually go through it twice. And we are in the Yeti's Cave, another area. Uh, in this particular area, there are... In this particular screen, sorry. There are four. One, two, three, four brand new enemies. Something to bear in mind is that the enemies in this area love casting Imp. Here's the first two new enemies. The... Oh, God. You're really going to make me pronounce this. Uh, the Iliankas which is 2,000 HP, weak to fire. That's the one at the top. And the, uh, Zach... <laughs> the Zach... The, the Zach Machiel. 2,000 HP, weak to ice. One fire from Terra should do it, honestly. Sorry, the Zach Machiel is the one at the top. Uh, the Iliankus is the one at the bottom. I got them mixed up. Never mind, uh, pretty easy. And we get two green cherries, which is going to be great for when everyone tries to do their naughty things. Next, we've got the Naughty. 1000 HP, weak to fire. Now, again, the thing about the enemies in this cave, they'll be somewhat weaker than everything else 
that you've seen so far, but Narsh is supposed to be one of the first places you visit. But yeah, very quick victory, and uh, the Notties have the tail ability that will imp anyone. So just bear that in mind. We'll, we'll heal this now. Um, but the last encounter is a 1 in 16 chance. So this might take a while. Here we go, the Tomberry. 8,000 HP, weak to fire and weak to lightning as well. Um, but there's a very easy way of dealing with this guy. Very fast, likes to cast Traveler, which is equal to a uh, number of steps taken. Luckily for us, it's got one very big weakness. Introducing the Imp spell. All we need to do is cast Imp and it missed. Because of course it did. Uh, that's very unfortunate. But, that's okay, because we can cast it again. Once more with feeling, and we'll get it right this time. Nope. Wow, this is not going the way I thought it would go. Uh, let's see. Yeah. There we go. Let's get a green cherry going here. Just going to keep on casting Traveller until we eventually get the Imp down. There we go! Finally got the Imp down. Good news everyone. And now it can't cast Traveller or anything like that. The bad news however is that now everything it's going to do uh, every attack is going to be a crit. It's going to be annoying. It's going to do multiple crits in a row, but that's okay. See? Nothing but crits. Really, really annoying. Look at it deal out the damage. Bang! Bang! Ooh. And eventually, it's going to go down. There we go. And Terra Lab Banish as well. Super useful. Uh, that took quite a few attempts to get, which was really, really annoying. But that's okay. Going to cure everyone here. Oh, should have cured. Should have raised a lot while I was at it. Uh, magic. Oh, no. Magic. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Ideally, Terra doesn't start that fight in imp status, but, you know, I was a bit of an idiot. Okay, so. Here's, here's what we want. What we want is to equip the Malulu's Charm back onto Mog there. I'm going to go up here, pick up the X Ether, come back down. And then, oh, no, wrong way. We're going to come down here, going to go up, and we're going to not jump on those darkened tiles, otherwise that's going to look very silly. Um, before you start opening this box, you want to save the game, um, because the upcoming boss is super annoying. In fact, I'm also going to do something that I normally wouldn't do, but I think it's worth doing it here. I'm going to use a couple of high ethers on Celez, so that she has plenty of... Um, MP for this upcoming fight. Monster in the box. Tonberries. Each individual Tonberry has 14,001 HP. And would you look at that? Locke has already fallen over. This is a really bad thing. We need Locke to be alive for this strategy to work. And these guys are fast. Okay. Gonna try and get off the Phantom because to start with, all these guys do is they just do physical attacks. So what we now want to do, um, instead of attacking them so that the Tonberries can use magic and counter, we now want Celez to get imp on all three of them. That's what we're looking for. And then once imp's on all three of them, then we can go to town. 
But yeah, Lock needs to be alive for the opening for the opening turn, otherwise bad things happen. But this is by far and away the toughest monster in the box. Some say it's um the Samurai Soul. But the Samurai Soul is just random. I think this one actually requires a specific strategy and you need to execute the strategy correctly. Whereas Samurai Soul doesn't really have a strategy. You just cast Bio and hope that you out heal or out damage him. So now that all three Tom Berries are imped, there's nothing they can do. Uh, they can now just do physical attacks. It's really annoying. Um, so now Terra is going to Trance and the good news about Trance as well is that um, you stay in the Vanish status, which is really good. So now Celeste is going to get off an AoE Fire. Look at that, 5,000 damage uh, on each one. And now Terra is going to also pull off an AoE Fire with her Trance status. Terra? Yeah, everyone's just attacking and queuing up their, their abilities. Yeah, being an imp status can just be irritating, but it's all good. There we go. And down they all go, all five of them. Another five, ma five magic AP. Uh, Lock, learn, berserk, and vanish. Good times. I'm temporarily going to take the Malunu's charm off of Mog because there are two enemies we can get in this small section. Let's try and find them. Ah, oh, they're both here. The Anemone and the Onion Dasher. The Anemone has 2000 HP and is weak to fire. The Onion Dasher also has two... Th sorry. Anemone... Amen Anemone has 2000 HP and is weak to fire. Onion Dasher has 2000 HP and is weak to lightning and water. So I'm going to have uh, Terra use an AoE Fire spell and Celeste will do an AoE Thundara. Nice and easy. Get two more green cherries. And that's it for the enemies in here. Something worth bearing in mind is that the Tom Berry you get in the random encounters and the Tom Berries you get in that monster in the box are two different encounters. So you still have to get the Tom Berry uh, in the open map. Okay, let's see what we've got. We're going to put uh, Malulu's charm back onto Mog. And now we need to just go around like this. In fact, no. We don't. We're going to jump in. Okay. And in this area, we're going to pick up the gauntlet. Make sure at this point you have all three chests. Um, and now we're just going to go down here, up and across. And now we want to ignore that first switch and press the second one. And by exploring the um, bone statue here, we can get some Magicite. Do we want to take the Magicite out? You best believe it. And we get Big Gardzima. Hooray! However, there are consequences to our actions and here comes the Yeti. Yeti, 17,200 HP. Weak to fire, to the surprise of absolutely nobody. So Terra's going to open up in a trance. Celez is going to use a fire. Um, eventually, the Yeti will use Snowstorm. Uh, and if it gets the... Uh, if it eats a green cherry, all its stats increase. That's a, that's a nice little interaction worth knowing. But even so, we have the damage to kill it. We don't get any magic AP, but we get 10 gil. And that's that. Okay, now, 
This only works if we have Mog in the party. We speak to the Yeti. And we get our final party member. A Yeti with a love for bone carving. Stronger than a Gigas, but a bit unruly. Gigas, Gigas, whatever. Um... Cool, this is Amaro. Use this name? Yep. And Amaro actually has some dialogue, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. He's barely mentioned. But we will have to use Amaro eventually. But if you remember, we got the Blizzard Orb in the Ancient Castle. Uh, that's an Amaro uh, relic. So... What does Megantima do? Uh, Abyssal Maw crushes all enemies with seismic waves. Also teaches Quake, Graviger, and Tornado with a level up HP plus 30%. Not bad at all. But we want to use a teleport stone to get the hell out of here. Yeti's cave done. And we are also done with this episode as well. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to go to a dream world. Ooh, what could it possibly entail? You'll just have to find out for yourself. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you've found it informative and entertaining. Um, subscribe as well for some more Final Fantasy content. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye!